Thank you for those who have watched this video. Here we will present a Paul Morphy party. Paul's way of destroying the opening of the King's Gambit, with only 25 steps directly against Scott Matt. Paul Morphy's career journey He was a legendary chess player in the 19th century and is considered one of the best players of all time. Throughout his career, he won many chess tournaments and demonstrated extraordinary proficiency in playing simul games. However, in 1862, Morphy decided to retire from chess and focus on his work as a lawyer. Then in 1884, Morphy died of a heart attack. Although Morphy was only active in chess for a few years, the legacy he left behind is highly regarded in the world of chess. His achievements in winning many tournaments and beating the best players at that time made him an idol for many chess players for many years globally until now. Here we will analyze John William Shulton when dealing with Paul Morphy, who is nicknamed the pride and sorrow of chess. Or interpreted as the pride and sadness of chess in 1857, 166 before the First World War occurred. John William Shulton continues e4, and Paul Morphy replies e5. f4 marks the opening of the king's gambit, and Paul does not accept the pawn choosing d5 pawn, and was rewarded with a pawn and a pawn d, and Paul continues to pawn e4, is a weak term. Paul did not choose to take the f-pawn. Because then in the future there will be a move by the knight f3, f6, bishop b5. c3, b4, minister e7. So this game will fall into the combination category, Paul doesn't want to because of this, he avoids playing combinations, because Paul is Morphy you know. The king's gambit opening tends to be a fairly aggressive game. So in this case Paul chooses e4. Knight c3, f6 feet d3 b4, elephant d3 avoid pining from the bishop. Here Paul actually chose a challenge that was quite thorny, with the e3 pawn sacrificing a pawn. John William Shulton received the bishop's pawn, and the elephant's rokade, back to d2. Rook d8 Scott, e2 bishop exchanges with the eating pawn knight. Bishop b4, add pressure with bishop. This move is also very weak. A better move would have been queen to square d6. After in, this position, John William Shulton showed his greedy soul with the c4 pawn protecting the pawn. And continued Paul c6, immediately rushed John William Shulton to eat pawn. In fact, this step made Paul Morphy significantly superior. A better move should be the h3 pawn attacking the elephant. After the bishop eats the knight eats the bishop so white gets free this takes out the rook. But it's a pity that John William Shulton doesn't know this yet. After in this position, Paul continues the horse eating pawns threatening the knight will jump to the d4 square. King f8, avoids pressure from the rook, this move is a blunder. A better move should be king f7, so that the 4 doesn't block the rook from getting out of Tina's reef. After in this position, ballistic missiles with sacrificial steps fort bishop tomb. The knight eats, and then the d4 knight attacks the knight twice, of course the e2 horse can no longer be stopped. So that the queen b7, the bishop eats the knight scot, the king f7, this is what I mean. If the king went to the f7, box so you don't have to lose tempo. The game still continues king g8. Again Paul Morphy, releases a ballistic missile with the sacrificial move f6 scott knight. Of course, white has no choice but to accept the knight's pawn. And continued d4 scott, g2 queen f7, king h3, queen eats scott's pawn. h4, and the h6 knight threatens scott mat and John William Shulton prevents this with a g8 queen. Then the f5 scot knight after a forced move and closed with the h5 scot mat queen. This shows us that we don't need to play greedy, just to get a pawn, especially if some of our officers are still behind. That's all and thank you for those who have watched this video until the end. I apologize if there are words that were offended unintentionally or on purpose. And don't forget your support, because no matter how small your support is, it means a lot for the future development of this channel.